Alright, welcome to Node 7 Electronics. I'm Joby, and today I'll be showing you how to solder. So, first things first, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need. And I'm going to start with the ones that you're going to need to start soldering. These are over here. You're going to, of course, need a soldering iron. This one's temper control, temperature controlled. I highly recommend it. It just makes soldering much, much easier. The next thing that you're going to need is, of course, solder. I've got my solder wrapped around a nail like you see here. This just makes it easier to use. I'll be showing you how to do this in just a few moments. The next thing you need is a good pair of side cutters. These are used for snipping leads off of components once you've soldered them in place. You're going to need something to clean off your so the tip of your soldering iron. I use these brass shaving sponges. But instead of using the bases, I just use a piece of pop can. And last but not least, you're going to need some sort of f ventilation system. I just use a computer fan. You're gonna, you, there'll be a video on my channel about how to make something like this later. Now, for the things that you don't need to be soldering, but are very useful. First is a solder sucker. This basically will just take molten solder that your soldering iron is on and you push the plunger down and then press the button whatever solders by the tip it will suck up into itself and this is useful for fixing mistakes that you've made next flux this is very useful what it does is makes the solder want to stick to what you're soldering you don't need it because most solders already have it inside of it but more can always be helpful depending on what you're soldering and last we have Helping hands. These are useful. You don't need them. Uh, they're handy when you're assembling a board. Alright, now you're ready to learn how to solder. So I've got all my components here. I'm going to be building a simple transistor flasher. And let's get started. Okay, before we get soldering, I'm going to show, how, show you how to make one of these. Very simple to make, very useful. It just makes it so like the soldering looks so, uh, applying solder to the joint is like a pencil, like using the soldering iron itself. Alright, to make this you'll need a nail, and I've got a, just over a meter of solder here. And what you're going to do to start is take your solder, so you're going to take your solder, and you're going to leave about three centimeters sticking out from the top of the nail and then one centimeter off the nail. You're going to hold and begin wrapping it around the nail. So you're going to wrap it probably be about ten times right now. And I'll show you a trick to speed up the process. Alright, once you've got it wrapped around like this, what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tape, alright, just a small one, probably about one centimeter by one centimeter, scotch tape will work, and you're going to take this and put it off to the side, and then just tape the whole thing down, so that the coil that you've got already doesn't spin too freely. Now. We're going to get the drill up the side, open it up, put the nail in, make sure that it'll spin in the right direction, like that. And all you're going to do is just start it slowly. And you're going to wrap it around the nail as uniformly as you can. Once you reach the end of your solder, you're just going to slow it down again. Wrap it around. Move it from your drill. And that's all. Just remove your tape.
and you're ready. So you can just align the tip forward and you're ready to solder. All right, now let's get started. First thing that I'm gonna do, start with my LEDs, okay? And in my circuit diagram, I see that the positive of the LEDs is connected straight to nine volts. So I'm gonna put the LEDs in on either side, the positives up. Now, to solder, you're going to flip over your board, bend the leads just slightly so that your component doesn't fall out if you pick up the board upside down. Do it the other. So there you go. The components stay where they're supposed to, right there. And now I'm going to put it into my helping hands. All right, I've got it in my helping hands, upside down, all held into place. My soldering iron is warmed up. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is put a small amount of solder on the tip. If it bubbles up, you're gonna dip it in your sponge just so that the tip is nice and shiny. This will help you with heat transfer. Now you're gonna put the iron on the joint and let that heat up. And you're gonna apply solder to the joint, not to the iron, and then pick up. So you're going to hold it on the joint for five or six seconds, apply some solder to the joint, pick it up, and then wait for the solder to cool. And repeat. Five or six seconds. Apply it to the joint and pick up. Wait for it to cool. Five or six seconds. Apply it to the joint. And pick up. And you're going to want to leave the soldering iron on the joint when after solder is applied for about two or three seconds. Once you've got that, you're going to put your iron back in the solder. And with your side cutters, you're just going to Simply snip all the leads away. Now to solder wires to the board. I've got this 9 volt battery snap and I've already stripped the leads of the wires. And I'm going to insert positive lead right here. Just bend that over just a little bit. And repeat like I was before. Clean off the iron so that it's just shiny. Apply the iron to the joint. Wait five or six seconds. Apply solder to the joint. Wait two seconds or so. And pick up. And then now, it's soldering good and strong there. Now, to make connections on perf board, what you're going to do is take leads, trimmed leads, and you're going to see where you need to make the connection. Alright, once you've determined where you need to make your connections, you're going to take snip leads, in this case these are from my LEDs, and you're just going to put it where you need, on the bottom of the board, just like that. and then you're going to solder it like you were. This technique, heat up, apply solder, and then wait, is the basis for all soldering. It doesn't matter what you're soldering. So, heat up, apply solder, wait, and remove. Now, in this case I need to connect here, so what you can do is apply a ball of solder like that.
and then we're simply going to repeat for its destination. Snip off the excess. But I highly recommend that you save snip leads. I've got a small container full of them. They're useful for when you construct circuits. So, I'll repeat here just so you can see. Between this point and this point, they need to be connected, but they're not. To do this, you have to take your iron, clean off the tip, tin it, and then apply a ball of solder. For my 470 ohm resistors, they're quite large, so to save on space, I'm going to take one lead and fold it down and beside the resistor. This allows me to wrap mount the resistor vertically and save some board space. Alright, the circuit is all done. Um, as you can see, I've removed one of the LEDs. That's just because I realized I only need one LED in my game. Turn it over, you can see all of the soldering. Nice and neat. And now that it's done, I've got this 9 volt battery here. Plug it in. There we go, I don't know if you can see that. Turn off this light. See it blinking? As it's supposed to. And that's that's that. There's now that you know how to solder, I highly recommend that you go and try soldering, you know, of course. Give it a try, it's very satisfying when you go to circuit that works.